Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new, to the US, SAR SR38 357 double action revolver with a six inch barrel. There are very few of these out right now. A lot of sites are showing that it's coming in and they have a price on there that is very attractive. I don't know if that's going to stick once they actually get it in, but a stainless steel double action revolver chamber and 357 magnum. These are the first shots to single action is amazing. We'll start with the gong there. Not bad for the 357. Wow, like no recoil. That's arms core, by the way. 158 grain. Man. That's great. And I missed my double action figures. But anyways, here it is. All steel, forged steel frame, barrel, and cylinder. It does rotate counterclockwise. All right, but I mentioned the single action trigger. This is really nice. Breaks right at four pounds, and it just snaps down there. It does not have a transfer bar in there, but it also has a internal safety, much like the Smith & Wesson models, but that single action trigger is just so nice. It feels like a two pound trigger, but it's not. It's four pounds on my trigger scale. It has fully adjustable rear sights, all right? So both elevation and windage, tall ramped up front sight. Now, if I had half a brain, I would have painted my targets white, but I don't have half a brain, so the sight is hard to pick up with black targets, although they're getting kind of beat up, so been a while since I've been here. But a six inch barrel, full solid underlug. It has a black crane ejector, cylinder release, trigger and hammer. Beautiful looking revolver. Now the grip is rubber. It's got some decent texturing on there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find wood grips. I, I've said it on every table review. I said it everywhere I go. I want wood grips on stainless revolvers. It just makes a more traditional and classy look. It is branded all over here. It says Sar USA right there. Made in Turkey. The Plains, Iowa, Miami, Florida. Sar USA over here. SR38, 38, 357. Serial number, sorry, you uh, you know, whatever. It's a very nice revolver. Now, that was 357 Magnum. I just got done shooting the Rossi RP63. The difference 30 and a quarter ounces with the RP63, 50 ounces with the SR38. So, big difference in recoil, big difference in accuracy with a barrel that's twice the size of the three inch rp63 that i was just shooting not five minutes ago but anyways those were my first shots let me load it up and we'll try double action 357 magnum loaded up we'll go double action we'll start with the center circle and right over here and then the rabbit Nice. The six inches makes a difference. <laughs> you know, people that shoot uh, the snub nose, I, I've shot snub nose several times. Accuracy is kind of tough. I will just say, for me anyways, you have to practice. This takes a lot of that practice away. A little bit. You know, you still have to get your rounds in and become proficient, but it's like night and day. It really is. Six inches makes a difference. But overall, nice revolver. 38 special out of a 50 ounce revolver. Like nothing. And that should be it. All right. The SASR 38, new to the US. 
you may have seen SAR revolvers in the US. They were imported by TR Imports. They have a four inch barrel, blue. Those are still around, but this one is new to the US. I don't know if you have seen a range review with it so far, but if so, that's great. If not, I'm the first, whatever. Nice overall revolver. I think SAR is doing a great job with their handguns. Uh, even their little 9mm sub gun, I haven't tried that yet, but I really like this, happy to have it. I want wood grips, there's the back of it, so to get wood grips, I would have to get the, the kind that would screw on from the bottom, perhaps Dan Wesson may work, but anyhow, nice overall revolver, it's performed great at the range, this was my first time out, first round through it, and I'm pretty happy with the SR. 38 and 357 Magnum. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.